I think it's a duty, it's my duty, it's my obligation to stand up for people who, if given the opportunity, can blossom. I became involved in social work in India when I was growing up and just saw the injustices. Women's issues like reproductive rights, I feel very strongly about. So it's issues like that equal pay for equal work that make me want to stand up and support organizations that um, do this. The Chicago Foundation for Women, such a hands-on organization, and that's why I strongly believe in it. I'm passionate about the issues, but I also see what my dollars as a donor do. I was on a site visit to an organization that provided services for survivors of sexual abuse. It was a very moving experience to see the strength with which these girls and women have remade their lives. I think it's the grantees and their stories that move me the most. There's more to it than just giving money. It's um, raising awareness, building engagement. I'm not a natural public speaker, but when I began talking about the Chicago Foundation for Women, my nervousness just melted away. I am Anita Sinha, and I'm here because I'm just unabashedly passionate about what the foundation does and how we do it. I first gave to the Chicago Foundation for Women as a luncheon guest. I bought one ticket. This was, I would say, maybe a dozen years ago. And I've been going to the luncheon ever since. I was always mesmerized by the luncheon. Every luncheon has this energy. My experience with the Chicago Foundation for Women has enabled me to grow has enabled me to become stronger and bolder and more comfortable about speaking up for women's issues. Sometimes even the little bit that an individual does is a drop in the ocean. That's how I've looked at it. I mean, I can't, I'm not changing the world in big ways, but every little thing I do to change the world adds that drop in the ocean. Mm -hmm.